Here we are with the 2004 2901 Sea Swirl Striper. Factory hardtop, generator, and twin Yamaha engines. Recently serviced and detailed. She has a nice cutty cabin on her. Come with me for a quick walk around tour on this Striper 2901 at South Mountain Yachts. Starting off here at the bow, we see we've got a lot of features on this boat. 30 amp shore power, factory hardtop, aggressive decking, and a covered windlass. Coming down around the starboard side, notice we even have wire fender baskets. Here at the helm section, we have isinglass to enclose that area. On the deck, we've got rod holders right there. And our walk around on here is a nice feature, about eight and a half, nine inches wide, so it's easy to get to the back. Coming down to the transom, we see we've got twin Yamaha 225 four-stroke outboard motors with stainless steel props that have just been serviced, additional rod holders, and a boarding ladder right there. Let's go on board. Once on board, this gives us an overall view of the cockpit. We see right here at the transom, we have a fold away seat for our buddies to sit as we head out to the fishing grounds. This area here also tilts forward, easy access to our battery switches and an emergency parallel. Here at the transom, we've got a built in bait tank, 45 gallons down below. We see we have our rod holders there. Off to the sides, we see we have steps, easy access to the back. Circling around, we have a plumbed fish box right here, which will drain overboard. in-deck fish boxes to store our catch. Here at this seat, we also have more wet storage there. Up one step, we have port side bench seating with storage up underneath. And tackle drawers right there also. Circling around, we see access to the bow. It can also be had up three steps through the windshield. Here at the helm, we have all of our Yamaha gauges and rocker switches right here at our convenience. We've got Lorenz chart plotter, JRC radar, we also have the C key system for Yamaha and an autopilot, the AP24 over here at our helm seat. 
Got a nice thigh rise bolster, more storage underneath with a nice footrest. This gives us an overall view of the cockpit. We enter the cabin through this port side sliding door, down a few steps. Immediately as we enter, we see we have our power panel, microwave oven, a little bit of galley storage, single burner, alcohol electric stove, sink, storage underneath. Our seating area forward converts into a nice V berth, sleeps two, the table just drops down, fills in. And I have two more bunks there also, one of which is down. Up against the starboard, we see we have cabinet storage. And then below that, we have our refrigerator. The deck in here is fiberglass lined with removable carpet. I mean, it is a fishing boat, yet it's family friendly. Has some ladies like it features, carpeting. Here at the head, fully lined fiberglass, easy to wipe down. We have a vacuum flush toilet and a tank watch system so we know the level of our tanks. Circling behind us, we have a little mid berth here. About two and a half, almost three feet high, full beam. Great little nesting area right there. Open stairs. Now the stairs there, there's storage up underneath. This vessel is well powered. Also, there's a 3KW generator with the boat, which is a very nice upgrade. So you can spend lots of times out on the hook. And to help you get to your favorite fishing grounds, she comes with a triple axle galvanized trailer with disc brakes. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.